Hello, in this video we're going to talk a bit about the multi-mode capabilities of the opinion meter system. And multi-mode means multiple modalities, and modalities means methods of distributing uh, or publishing your surveys. And in opinion meter's case, we have a cross-platform capable system where truly you can author once and distribute your surveys anywhere, um, whether that be uh, surveys optimized for a mobile web browser or a PC browser or uh, surveys that you want to run on devices like an iPad or an Android tablet or a smartphone. We have native apps written for specific operating systems. We currently support iOS devices, Android devices, and Windows 8 and Windows Phone devices. So. The idea is you can create a survey once, as I said, author once and distribute anywhere and have a consistency across all the modalities. And that's critical for your brand consistency um, as well as the respondents experience uh, and quality of uh, user experience. So here I am in a test account. I've created a very simple uh, eight question survey with a variety of question types to just give you a sense of the UI. And then my plan here is to show you how uh, this survey will appear on a native app and I have my iPhone with me and I'll bring that up right now. I'm just using Air Server to emulate. So this is my actual iPhone I have in my hand and I'm going to go through the same survey first using my iPhone and then I'm going to um, show you what that same survey would look like in the browser on my iPhone, what we call mobile web for mobile web browser, um, which is basically an online survey optimized for a mobile web environment. And then we'll look at what that same survey will look like in a PC browser. So here we are, I have my phone in my hand. I'm going to click the next button and start taking this survey, question one of eight, basic age. Now we have another closed ended question, but a picker wheel, another picker wheel with a um, ethnicity question and I think we have next yes an education question uh, here's a choose all that apply question uh, here's a ranking question where I can drag uh, in order of preference um, and rank my options next we have an open-ended question where I can type in or I can record video record images or record a verbatim sound recording for for if a respondent wanted to speak and record their ver verbatim comments so I'm gonna click done and then here we have a slider question and I believe that's the end of the survey and this is in real time uploading to our survey manager and then the reports are available in real time so that's the native app let me reduce this um, well, actually, I don't need to reduce it. I'm just going to close the app, go to my desktop, and uh, before that, let me bring up the distribution option here in the survey we created, and let's make it a public survey. Let's generate a QR code just so I can, I don't have to type a URL then. So I'm going to click on the uh, Enigma icon right here, which is a scanning utility, and you'll see me do this. I just scanned that QR code. It was so fast, um, you didn't see it. Let me let me just go uh, and go ahead and launch this survey in my browser. So here's the same survey that I scanned that QR code from, and as you can see, there's a browser bar, browser field at the top. That's the only difference from the user interface we saw uh, in the actual native app. Um, so here I'm going to take my finger and click start and here's the age question, here's the picker wheel we saw for the gender question, ethnicity question, also a picker wheel, my battery's running low, um, education, uh, here's the choose all that apply question, you see how simul similar it is, it's, it's actually identical. We've gone to great lengths to keep that user interface identical across all the modalities that you're using. And what you're seeing here with with the yellow um, bars, the yellow options, the, the yellow buttons, the font, all of this is you can modify. This is what we call a skin. Um, here's the open-ended question. And so you can control all the colors, fonts, buttons that you see. So um, this just happens to be one of our default uh, skins. So I'm going to click close 
And this too is in real time, assuming your device has internet connectivity. That's one of the advantages of a offline native survey app is you can run in offline mode or online mode, whereas obviously any online or browser-based survey requires internet. So we had a redirect to our home page. That's why it came back to this this page. So let me reduce uh, that emulation and now let's see what that exact same survey is going to look like in a PC browser. So I'm going to go up here and here's the same survey but within a PC browser. I'm going to click start. Here's our age question. Uh, picker wheel. Now you can have a picker wheel, picker wheel or not. You can have drop downs, picker wheels. I just wanted to show you for the sake of consistency how you can have it identical, the survey uh, uh, interface uh, um, identical across all your uh, methods uh, or modalities so I stuck with the picker wheel for that reason so here's my ethnicity question education question here's my choose all that apply question and uh, here's our ranking question and uh, obviously uh, the open-ended we don't have the um, the camera and the sound recording icons here because this is a PC browser and uh, it's my PC doesn't have sound recording set up um, and here's the slider question so you see the consistency is identical across no matter whether you're using a native app or a mobile browser or a PC browser uh, we've gone to great lengths to keep that consistency uh, so your customers have the same experience wherever they're taking their survey. A customer may start a survey uh, on a mobile device and conclude that same survey at home on their PC browser. Or they may start a survey on a, uh, on a, um, a native uh, app running on a, a tablet and conclude that survey on their mobile phone in their browser. And we've gone to great lengths to keep that consistent for you. So thank you for your time and, and this concludes the tutorial.